What's good homies and welcome back to another episode finally back on Rugby League Live 4 We are in round number 5 of the Telstra Premiership here of the Rabbitohs So we're on the road and our opponent for today are the North Queensland Cowboys As for our lineup we do have a change to the lineup uh, Sam Burgess is still out for one more week and his replacement Seal Sifa Talakai has actually been suspended as well So he'll be gone for two weeks so taking his spot on the bench will be Dean Brett what they're gonna notice with this Rabbitohs team is that the players that they have outside the 17 that I usually pick, as far as player stats go, they aren't the best, uh, the best replacements, I guess. Just lacking a bit of depth right now. Hopefully we can sign maybe a couple more back rowers, some versatile back rowers. I know we've got a couple of players departing, which will be automatic like Aaron Gray. But in saying that, we also have a couple of automatic buys or new signings that will be arriving next season. One in the form of Dane Gagai, which I'm pretty excited for. Anyway, we'll be starting things off here in attack as we throw a wide ball out to Heimel Hunt. And Hunt's going to get pulled down just outside our 30. And uh, we're going to get the penalty here. Pretty soft penalty to give away. Ever since I've returned back to Rugby League Life 4, that's probably one of the most annoying things. Are those held and tackle penalties. The frequency, especially in beer pro mode, is, it's actually pretty annoying just getting cheap penalties. You'll definitely see it in an upcoming survival video just how bad it got. Anyway, we're outside their 10 here as we attack their right side through George Burgess. Bumps off one and we try and charge our way over the line, but we want to get wrapped up. As we shift it to the right once again, try and uh, drop a inside ball back to Inglis, but he's going to get held up. Again, we go to the right side. This time, just quick hands out to Johnston and we find space on the edge there to score our first try of the game. A simple try all off the back of that penalty. So they set it up to review the grounding, but we'll get the green lights. It was uh, pretty much, it wasn't an overlap, it was just a compressed Cowboys defense. And thankfully for us, Alex Johnston was hugging the touchline as we get the green lights and just await the conversion of Adam Reynolds. Pretty tough kick to start things off here. As we take the strike, and unfortunately, we're unable to bring it back around. Still not quite uh, there with the goal kicking, but like I said, the more consistently I play the game, because right now I'm playing in like little bursts or spurts, a game here or there, but the more I play consecutive matches, I'll definitely get better at the goal kicking I feel. I just haven't really had the time to play Rugby League Live, but... Anyway, we're back in attack here through George Burgess once again, straight through the middle, bumps off their fullback, and he's going to get some post-contact meters past the 40. As we send it to uh, Adam Reynolds here to look for the 40-20, a beautiful strike and it's going to trickle its way into the corner for the 40-20. Well executed kick there. So we take the tap here on the 10. And it's going to be Zane Musgrave with the first hit up. Actually gets driven backwards. On the first, we go wide to Turner. And Turner's going to get hit and dropped on the 10. Back on the second, we go back to Reynolds. Shifting it once again down this right side. It's going to be Alex Johnston getting an early double. Alright, so I've got a replay for this one, and just the player movement off the ball, I thought looked pretty realistic, and the width on the play here, just soaking the numbers in, we eventually got it out to Alex Johnston, who uh, crossed the line initially untouched. Another fairly simple try, but when, you, when I went back to look at the replay, the multiple angles that players run and the different options, as we miss another conversion from the sideline here, that could come back to haunt us later on in the game, but... Yeah, like I was saying about the gameplay, the attack in particular, so much better than every other rugby league game that they've made. And in my opinion, although it's not really comparable, but it's the best rugby or league game to date. As we kick another 40-20 here and put ourselves in another good position to score another try. Just outside the 10 here, we're going to take a couple of settlers as we get an automated crossplay. We send it to Walker, try and uh, catch Musgrove on the inside, but he's going to get wrapped up back on the 10. On the second, we go back to Walker. He gets it out to Inglis. A little short ball to Burgess who gets driven backwards. We get what looks to be a block play to the left here, but we're unable to do anything with it as we get wrapped up with Adam Reynolds. Fourth tackle here. Again, we attack this left side as we go to Walker, looking for that cutout ball and the drone past the gray, but it's well read by the defense as we get pulled down just inside the 10. Fifth and last, 
I'm gonna send it to Walker. We try a little crossfield kick here. Just a Hail Mary type play, and it looked like it was gonna go out on the full, but Damien Cook, some way, somehow, gets his hands on the ball and secures our third try of the game as we take another look on the replay. I pretty much tried everything up until that point, and I just decided to go for a random crossfield kick on the last. It looked like it was mistimed by uh, Kyle Felt, that was, who let it bounce as we take a uh, one last look at the replay it was a pretty good chase by cook started running before he even kicked the ball and <laughs> kyle felt he had eyes on the ball but i don't know what happened there a little bit of a brain fight there by <laughs> the cowboys winger as we take a fairly easy conversion this time and finally we nail a conversion we got by 14 points all right so 27 minutes into the match we're back in attack here with the head up by inglis and he gets smashed in the tackle on the first Inside out 20, we go for another hit up here. I was looking to deliver a short ball here, but we get smashed in the tackle and we end up losing the ball. A costly error by Adam Reynolds. We're a little too late with the play and it'll be the Cowboys now in a great position to score their first points of the game. As Lowe takes the tackle inside the 10. Quick hands here to Cole and Hess. And Hess tries to power his way over, but we flip him on his back and he's still short. As they said that once again to the left side, and Michael Morgan's gonna get wrapped up for a loss. Nothing too troubling, a little one dimensional by the Cowboys here, as Fensom takes it to the line himself, and he ends up driving Inglis over the line with him, as he finally scores the Cowboys' first try of the game. They send it up as a try, and as you can see on the replay here, there's a clear grounding of the ball, and it'll be the Cowboys finally getting that much needed four pointer. Back with Thurston here, lining up the kick, a super easy kick, as you can see from right in front, he adds the extras and we're going to head into the break, leading the Cowboys 14 points to 6. A lot of action in that first half, we were pretty solid attacking wise, we were pretty much dominating the Cowboys up until that big hit on Adam Reynolds, which forced the error as we take a look at the halftime match that's here. So as you can see here, a 70-30 split for time in possession. We have made quite a few errors and we missed a couple of tackles but other than that like I was saying it was a solid first half of footy as for the Cowboys they've made two errors conceded one penalty and for all the defending they had to do they only missed four tackles and I would say that was solid defense but clearly it isn't if they leaked three tries. Alright so back in the second half nine minutes in and with the Cowboys in attack as Thurston delivers a beautiful ball to Scott Bolton shrugs off Greg Inglis and he makes beautiful post contact meters here driving inside our 30. Back on the second tackle here as they go to Morgan he floats a wide one out to Matt Scott and another great run as they pick up more meters post contact this time through Matt Scott out the back to Thurston this time and man we should have put a big hit on but he gets double teamed and wrapped up on the 10 as they send a wide to Hess and Hess gets well taken care of. We're about 2 meters out here. On the last they pass to Morgan and he puts it on the toe for his halves partner in Jonathan Thurston who scores their second try of the game and all of a sudden the North Queensland Cowboys get within 4 with the kick to come from right in front and as you'd expect Thurston nails the 2 and it's 14 points to 12 right now. North Queensland Cowboys got a bit of momentum and once you give them a sniff like this the AI is kinda hard to stop as we jump back in attack here fielding the clearance kick with Aaron Gray we get wrapped up inside the 10 and we're gonna look for some hit ups here through Dean Britt and he gets crunched in the tackle and again we lose the ball forward I mean that's the third big hit of the game and we can't even pull one off kind of annoyed that it's hard for us to pull off big hits yet the AI tends to do one or two every match one of the few grabs I have of the game as Jonathan Thurston <laughs> He actually drives his way over the line. Right here as they get the green lights. They stand up to review the grounding but as you can see here. Apparently Jonathan Thurston carries Inglis over the line. All on the back of some super aggressive defense. As they get the green lights here. And the Cowboys take the lead. With Thurston to convert. From right in front. <laughs> Oh man, the Cowboys got by 18 points. Well, they got by four, but it doesn't really matter because it ends up being the full-time score. The Cowboys 
with a come from behind victory here at 1300 Smile Stadium defeating us 18 points to 14. I mean if you're expecting me to go through this season without losing all I'm gonna say is don't. I believe this is our second loss anyway but yeah it's all a part of the process here. We're gonna have to take a few hours on our journey to rebuilding South Sydney as we take a look at the full time match stats here. It ended up being a super dominant second half by the Cowboys. Jonathan Thurston actually picked up man of the match. As we look at the individual player stats, for those of you participating in the People's Choice Award, as for the loyal viewers that made it this far into the video, let me know in the comments section by hitting it up with the odd squad over everything. And as always, drop that like button for more content. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you later. Rolling now, bitch, I'm rolling now. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Hold me down, get to know me now. Bet you really should. Overkill, said you know the deal. Said she know the deal. Call my phone, I could beat it up just like I'm holy. Feel she party in Vegas.